watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are really, really eager and excited to get some time with you. And I want to give you some good news. You like good news? I like good news. This is a testimony from Rosanna. She called to our ministry for prayer for her son-in-law and daughter um, that they would get pregnant and be able to afford to move into a house. After receiving prayer, she called back to say they just moved into a town home and her daughter is three months pregnant. How cool Sweet. is that? I love it. So Sweet. if you have a need in your life, hop on the phone, get on the website. We love to pray for you. And we know that God answers prayer. And partners, I just want to say thank you so much. You're an integral part of helping us to cover the earth with the word. And without you, we couldn't do what we do. And so we pray that God anoints you and prospers you. And you really have a hunger and a passion for the word of God. um, Because that's one of the central things for our ministry is is the word of God and how vital and and powerful it is in our lives. And mom, we have a really cool guest today. I think she's one of your favorites. Who are we interviewing? She is one of my favorites. Becky Dvorak wrote the book, The Waves of Healing, glory. Now, folks, that's real important because healing is a big subject. And I like her book. I like the way she deals with situations and circumstances. And she brings you into a faith that, can I say it like this? And don't get mad at me, that you think anything is possible. Anything is possible. So you need to get the book or books so that you can pass them around to people. You know people who are sick. You know people who've never heard of healing. I have neighbors I want to pass it on to. So I want you to be sure you get the book. I want you to watch. I want you to believe God for yourself as well as the people who will be watching with you. In her latest book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, Marilyn gives you the blueprint she's used for reading the Bible, speaking its promises, and acting on what the Word says. What readers will get from the book as I start my day with a cup of coffee and promises from the Word. In this transformational book, Marilyn shares practical strategies for reading, studying, and meditating on the Bible, speaking scripture over your life, using the sword of truth, the Word, during spiritual warfare, and walking out the word in faith. And this really tells you how to be victorious in every area of your life. You will love the book. I want you to have it. Read it, speak it, do it. Claim victory over every area of your life. Now available wherever books are sold. Welcome to today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are so glad to get some time with you. And remember this, whatever the needs are in your life, we love to pray for you. We know that you have financial needs. You have some family needs. You have health needs. You have decisions you've got to make. You've got some emotional things going on. We love to pray for you. And we know that God answers prayer. So hop on the phone, get on the website. And we want to see God do some really cool things in your life. And we have a special guest with us, Becky Dvorak. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh, we love it. I love thank you having for having you. me here. Totally good. It. And uh, not everybody in our audience is familiar with you. So can you give us a little bit of your background? Tell us a little bit, you know, the Guatemala stuff, because then that kind of helps us ooh, mm-hmm. pay like really riveted attention. Okay. Well, I'm a healing evangelist, a prophetess, and I was a missionary in Guatemala for 25 years. And now I've been back with my family in the States for almost three years where we knew we were coming back to be missionaries here. Mm. (laughs) And you have a book called Waves of Healing Glory. And it's interesting because the first part of this, you talk about the seven waves, wave recap, and you talk about tsunami. Um, Why do you have the idea of waves? Where does that come from? The Lord gave me this vision and I saw the map of the United States and I saw this tsunami wave of healing glory just overtaking the whole United States because people have been calling out to God. Christians have been calling out to God. Why not healing here? And to be honest with you, healing isn't, hasn't anything to do with geography. It has to do with a believing heart. Exactly. But it has been Say so... Say that again. Healing doesn't have anything to do with geographical location. It has to do with a believing heart. 
And so we need to learn how to believe. But God put it in my heart to write this book for these last days, how to prepare ourselves for the time we're living in and so that we can access our own healing for our own bodies for our and for our loved ones and also for whoever comes into our arena of influence. Mm -hmm. Well, truly good. And, and one of the things I like about this is at the end of every chapter, you have a really, really good um, activity stuff. You have lots of questions and you give space for interaction and, and answers. And uh, that was extremely helpful because it makes it personal and practical. So I'm not just reading, getting content, mm -hmm. but I'm engaging and participating. So why did you do that in this book? Did you, I mean, because I, I think this is more extensive than you've done in your other books. I always have questions and answers and, and things for people to ponder on the message and examine their own hearts. I may call it different things in different books, but... But the point is so that it becomes personal. It's not just something they're reading. It's about someone else, someone else's testimony, but it comes home. You know, it hits home with them. Where am I missing it? Where do I need to make improvements in my life? What? Where am I lacking in, in this thing called faith? And, and what steps can I take according to what we just read? How can I activate this healing power in my own life, in my own body, for my for my husband, wife, whoever, whatever the situation is, or for wherever I go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in here, you give a really cool testimony, a uh, recent testimony of a lady that was in your healing line with hearing hearing aids. Can you share it with that? I really encourage our audience. <laughs> I, I. You know, I've seen as a healing evangelist, I've seen so many miracles, big miracles, small miracles, whatever you want to call them. I have seen a lot in 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 these many years of walking in the healing ministry. And for some reason, there's just different healing testimonies that just like pull on the heartstrings of my heart. And they're like embedded in the memory of my heart. And this woman that's what's what happened with with her testimony. I had been ministering about about strengths and weaknesses and and you know about human strengths, human weaknesses. And there was this woman and when it came to the healing, you know, laying hands on the sick, she came forward and she walked forward and she had her she was standing there when I got to her and she had her hearing aids in her hands. And for whatever reason, the countenance of this woman whatever the spirit of this woman, it just grabbed my heart and it just really, I mean, pulled on the compassion in my heart. And, and I mean, she was instantly healed, but I use this example and, and I teach about strengths and weaknesses and, 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 and I go into a scripture from, from, um, from, um, Psalms 20 verse seven, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember and we will trust in the name of the Lord. And this is what this woman was doing because I, I explain in there from, from the healing point of view about this verse that, that, you know, some trust in chariots, how, what, what would chariots have to do with this situation? Well, chariots were the latest, you know, the most update invention means of travel for these people back then. And, and so I look at that, I ponder upon that and, and, and I take and I use, and I compare the chariot to the latest, most updated human forms of helping the human body or healing the human body. And then we look at the horse and the horse is full of strength and power. It's fast. And so you combine the two and, and so in this situation, this woman, her weakness, she had, she was deaf. She also was afraid, fear, that fear factor again, that maybe she wasn't good enough, that God wouldn't heal, didn't want to heal her, whatever it was. But so those were weaknesses. And her strength, her human strength that she held in her hands were the hearing aids. And she was surrendering her weakness and her strength, her human strength to God. And it, I don't know if I can express it enough, but it was the way in which she presented it to God. And she was just instantly healed. And I really believe we need to examine in our own lives, what are our 
weaknesses. I'm talking human weaknesses. And what are our human strengths in that situation? And, you know, I encourage people, you know, through the end, end questions and, you know, examining our own hearts and stuff to ask God, you know, take it to the Lord, write out a list. What is my strength? What are my weaknesses? And are either of them are any of these things, are they hindering hindering me from receiving all the healing blessings God has for me? Is it stopping? Is it preventing? Just like this woman did. I mean, it was, she had just this simple childlike faith and she presented it to God and she was instantly healed. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes along at the end of Romans chapter eight, there's a verse that says the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Yes. And I think it's really important for us to consider that because I think a lot of times we we cover up, disguise, accessorize weaknesses, accommodate, mm -hmm. you know, do all these things. But when we do that, if we're not leaning into the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, then we have some struggles to really let that weakness become a strength in God's hand. So I just encourage you, you might be watching right now and maybe you, 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 you're nervous about your weaknesses. You're nervous about the things that you, the inabilities. We would love to pray for you that Holy Spirit would help you in all those weaknesses. Hop on the phone, get on the website. And when you do, grab your copy of Waves of Healing Glory. <clears throat> super, super helpful resource. As you read through it, as you work through the questions and, and kind of think about what, what God is talking to you through this book, it will really encourage your faith and help you to see God move in your life with healing and with restoration and with strength and all that. Becky, this is just a quick one. How can sometimes a strength actually be a weakness? Because I believe it can stand in the way, just like you were saying, it covers up. It's a cover up. And, and it really can become a weakness where we depend on human wisdom, human strength, human knowledge instead of, but we will remember, we will trust in the name of the Lord, our God. Mm -hmm. And I think when we lean in our own understanding, you know, it's that Proverbs 3, 5, 6, that we don't trust in God. And sometimes we have to really shift that and say, okay, God, I choose to trust you. I don't have to understand, but I choose to trust you. So mm -hmm. we want to encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. We know, we know that you have needs. We know that you have healing needs. You have financial needs. You have marital needs. You have all kinds of needs. You have needs for God to give you wisdom on decisions that you've got to make. You've got needs for your kids your grandkids, your, cause some of you are really concerned about your kids or grandkids not serving Jesus. We want to pray for you. And we know that God answers prayer. So hop on the phone, get on the website and grab your copy, Waves of Healing Glory. It'll be immense blessing to you. A tsunami of miracle power and healing glory is coming. Are you prepared? For your gift of $29 or more, we will send you Becky Dvorak's book, The Waves of Healing Glory. In this powerful book, you will learn how to position yourself to catch those waves as they usher in the great harvest of souls and help release God's supernatural power across the earth. This book also features interactive faith assessments, reflection questions, and group discussion exercises. We will also send you Marilyn's Miracle Thinking CD teaching, God's Plan for Abundance mini book, and our Miracle Scripture card. And for your gift of $69 or more, you will include the Spirit-Filled Life Bible. Encounter the power of the Word to walk in the freedom God intended and experience the Holy Spirit in a new way. This Bible includes insight from respected, Spirit-filled scholars, including Marilyn and Sarah. Prepare yourself for the signs, wonders, and miracles Jesus promised. Call or click today. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, 
by visiting zarabowling.org or call us at 800-627-1995. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. And I think this is, a you are a special guest. I love what you bring. You bring healing, but you bring love and compassion, which is all connected together, isn't it? It is. Now you talk about voice activating your faith. What do you mean by that? Voice activating our faith is this. As we read in Proverbs 18, 21, it says that, that there's the power of life and death in, in our tongue. And in other words, every word that we speak is either releasing life or releasing death into a situation. And there's a time that we need to do both. And we need to learn, actually, we need to first listen to what we're actually saying. But when we learn how to voice activate that means voice activating faith. No matter what the symptom is coming upon you, no matter how bad you're feeling, no matter what's going on, no matter how negative the report is, you, you continue to speak God's word no matter what. It's like when our son had died from sudden infant death syndrome, our adopted son, Marcos, and the reports I telling you, they were bad, but we would not allow one word of death out of our mouths. We wouldn't allow it. We just spoke life and healing, life and healing, whatever it was that his body needed, we spoke it. And because we would not back down from our stance, because trust me, they thought we were nuts and, and that we were out of touch with reality, but we weren't. We were actually in touch with the reality, exactly. Jesus, the healer. Exactly. And so we were voice activating our faith that, Marcos, you will live, you will not die, you will fulfill your destiny. Or in one time I had a knee that was bone on bone. And I just kept saying, speaking to that knee, you are healed. I can bend, I can jump, I can run, I can do whatever I have to do. There is no pain. There is cartilage in my knee. And within a few days, there was. And so what this is, those are just examples of voice activating your faith into the, for healing into that situation. And your words are extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. They are. And, and I want to encourage you, grab your copy of Waves of Healing Glory, because Becky speaks about this and really helps you kind of walk through these principles and what that looks like in your life. Super, super helpful. And Becky, one of the things you talk about, the fifth wave is fast and furious, which oh. is kind of a fun way to think about um, Holy Spirit. What do you mean by fast and furious? What does that look like? I love this wave. It's, it's. You know, these waves, you know, like I said, they're tsunami waves and they're coming and they're coming with more and more intensity and more of more of what God is bringing is coming forth. And and so this is like the love of God. And and and, and then comes the what I call the fast and furious wave. And it is a, it is. It is just a blatant attack against Satan and the spirit of death in people's lives. And when you get to that point, and we are getting to that point, the death is reports are all around us, all around the world and fear and all of that, all of the negative is, is happening all around us. But then we as Christians, we start ministering the love of God to people. And as we continue to do so, we continue to do so. And I don't mean, you know, petting people's sin. No, speaking the truth, speaking it in love and having action, the love of God behind us. But this fast and furious wave of, of God just comes and it just like flattens out the spirit of death. And, and I have witnessed it over and over people, people, you know, I, 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 for whatever reason, I can picture a, a particular meeting and all these women were, came forward with dealing with breast cancer and, you know, they were dealing with the spirit of death. Some really, really, really advanced in the whole thing. And, and it's just like the spirit of God just his, his love was, and compassion was just released mm -hmm. so fast and furious. I mean, it just kind of like wipes the people out. They just all fall over and there's no stopping it. 
and they just wake, I mean, they just come to or whatever you want to say. And, 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 and there's evidence of their healing. And, and then they go and they get their reports from their doctors and they're healed. It's just, it's a fast and furious move of God. And it's against the spirit of death. Hmm. And we need that. And it's, it's already being released, but we're going to see this, this particular tsunami wave just coming in stronger and stronger and stronger because it's the only thing that's going to combat all that this earth is going through right now. Mm -hmm. I just encourage you, you might be watching right now. Maybe you got a bad report from the doctor and it's interminable, and, you know, whatever those words are that they use that are so like scary and big and like intimidating. We want to pray for you. God would remove the fear and the intimidation and bring in the fast and furious wave of his love, his compassion and life vitality. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. And we know that God answers prayer. And of course, grab your copy of Waves of Healing Glory. Super, super helpful. Um, walk you through not just to watch this program, but then also what does this look like in my life? And Becky walks you through some really practical hands-on applications on, on how and what and, and working through some very supernatural things and seeing transformation. So Becky as well, you know, when you talk through these different waves, one of them, you talk about the wave of worship. That's one of like the, the first wave of worship. What does that look like? The wave of worship, it's, you know, there, it's, there is worship going on all throughout this earth right now. And, and the, it's, it's like being led up by the Holy Spirit and, and people, whether they're in their homes or in groups or in church settings, wherever, people recognize the time we're living in and that the time is short and it's getting really rough out there. And people are just falling to their knees right now in worship, worship breaks the yoke of heaviness. It breaks the bondage. And, and it's all about tapping into, into the manifested presence of God. What do you mean by that? When, what do I mean by the manifested presence of and God? Tapping in. Like I manifest the presence of God, but when I hear you say tapping in, what is that? What, how do what do you mean by that? Well, as we worship in spirit and in truth, whether it's, you know, down on our knees, you know, with our hands raised up or singing in corporate, min, you know, corporate worship or in our daily lives, our lifestyle should be a form of worship. But whatever it is, we are just we are just so in tune to God that we are just right in his presence, right next to him. We're just intimate with him. And when you get to that point in life or in that time of worship, you literally step into his realm and, and he overtakes that situation. That's what we need. That's what we want mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that's where the miraculous reigns. Mm -hmm. And you share that in your book. I do. Because I think a lot of people watching this, they have not really, they don't know how to worship. And so you need to know. And this will help you. You say, well, I don't know that I can worship. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And get the book or books and look at how you can worship. So you say, well, I'm not an emotional person. I'm not talking about you being an emotional person. I'm talking about you being a worshiper. You need the book or books to share with others. It's so good. Yeah. And the other thing you talk about in here as well is faith assignment. We talk about faith assignment. I think that's really an interesting concept because like a faith assignment, like I think of homework assignments, you know? So when you say faith assignment, what does that mean? It really is a spiritual <laughs> homework assignment. And as a healing evangelist, I, I not only teach people how to believe and be healed for themselves, but I teach a lot of people how to, how to minister to other people as well. And I do give what I call faith assignments to people. And, and I send them an assignment and don't come back until that's manifested in your life or in the life of someone else. But there is a particular faith assignment that I do mention in the book. And, and I say, you know, take a sheet of paper in prayer before God and ask him, what are my strengths and my weaknesses and how are they hindering? How are they helping? Mm -hmm. what, what do I need to do to change the situation? Mm -hmm. 
Super, super powerful. I want to encourage you. There's so much good stuff in here. So much helpful stuff. So much stuff that's got real practical application. She just gave you one of them, one example, but the book is overflowing with all kinds of good stuff, content, application, practicality for you. Grab three copies today. It'll really help you. A tsunami of miracle power and healing glory is coming. Are you prepared? For your gift of $29 or more, we will send you Becky Dvorak's book, The Waves of Healing Glory. In this powerful book, you will learn how to position yourself to catch those waves as they usher in the great harvest of souls and help release God's supernatural power across the earth. This book also features interactive faith assessments, reflection questions, and group discussion exercises. We will also send you Marilyn's Miracle Thinking CD teaching, God's Plan for Abundance mini book, and our Miracle Scripture card. And for your gift of $69 or more, we will include the Spirit-Filled Life Bible. Encounter the power of the Word to walk in the freedom God intended and experience the Holy Spirit in a new way. This Bible includes insight from respected, spirit-filled scholars, including Marilyn and Sarah. Prepare yourself for the signs, wonders, and miracles Jesus promised. Call or click today. We're so glad you've watched. And Becky, I know our audience is so encouraged by what you've shared. Would you pray for our audience to really experience these waves? Amen. Well, right now, we just pray. Let's hold hands as we pray. Yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, mm. we ask you, Holy Spirit, to prepare our hearts to step in completely into these tsunami waves of healing glory that are going throughout the whole earth, even into this Western world that has been dry for so long. Father, you know the death attacks, the fear attacks, everything mm -hmm. that's coming against your people. And so right now we renounce the spirit of death. We release the spirit of life. We take our authority over fear and the wickedness and, and that it's trying to produce in our lives. And so right now I just come against this, this pandemic and, and the death uh. that it's bringing with it. I renounce it. I release the healing power into your every cell, into every tissue, every system, every organ of your body to be supernaturally cleansed by the healing blood of Jesus and that your hearts are healed and recreated, your lungs are healed and recreated. In Jesus' name, you be healed and made whole. Amen. Amen. Well, I want you to say this with me because I like to say this every day in my confessions. Thanks be to God who always leads us to triumph in Christ. It didn't say sometime. So that means every day, God wants you and me to triumph in Christ. Mm -hmm.